Okay, so I had an agent come to me the other day, and uh, she was like, "Ricky, I have this uh, this this lighthouse buyer for a condo," and uh, they came down. You know, we looked at everything. They said they wanted to write an offer, okay, but they wanted to go home first, and then. You know, once they got home, they were going to write the offer. You know, they got home. I kept following up. They started kind of blowing me off a little bit. And then eventually they told me that they found a piece of property where they live, like a, like a rental property or something up there where they're from, that, uh, that they decided to buy anyway instead of the lighthouse condo, right? So she says, what am I doing wrong? And this is like a newer agent. She's not selling that much. She's really not selling anything. She hasn't sold anything, I don't think. But she's like, what am I doing wrong? Just tell me, what am I doing wrong? I said, all right. I'm going to tell you right now what you're doing wrong. You want to know what you're doing wrong? I said, what you're doing wrong is this. You're focused on one buyer, one client, one one seller, one deal. You got one deal going on. That's what you're doing wrong. In any business, you have to have a large pipeline of prospects and leads and deals to survive, right? So I said the problem's not this deal. You did great with this deal. You know, you did everything they wanted you to do. Um, maybe you could have said something to push them over the edge to go ahead and write the contract while they were here. But that's okay. Um, you know, you win some, you lose some, you live and learn. You do need to work on your closing skills where, you know, next time you'll know, don't let them leave. You know, let's go ahead and say a few things to try to get them to write a contract now before they leave. Um, and that's different per situation. You, know, you have to figure out what they are emotionally attached to. You know, what do they, uh, what's their thing? What do they, uh, what's their goals? What moves them? This is when you really get to know your client. And you get to know what, uh, put my seatbelt on, you know what I'm talking about? You get to know your client, you get to know what they're, what, what moves them emotionally what their goals really are in life and then you can help them out and then you can find things to say that that can um, close a deal quicker right but until you make that connection and um, and figure out what what emotionally moves them you don't really have a leg to stand on you know that's what it all boils down to client relations right so I told her the problem is not this deal the problem is the big picture. You're not out there trying to get more deals. You're not trying to find more leads, more prospects, right? If she would do the same thing she did with that lead, with every lead, okay, she's going to sell property. Yeah, she can she can horn in her skills a little better on how to uh, how to close the deal a little better, you know. But but the bigger picture is. She's not even thinking about, let this one go, this ship has sailed, you know, let's go get more leads. She's not even thinking that. So, I don't know if it really resonated or not, um, but I told her that she needs to be making 40 calls a day. When I first started in real estate, I made 40 calls every single day um, until my ears bled, you know. Um, and, and I built a business off of that. Building relationships over the phone. Everything else is just brand building. Postcards, emails, letters, Facebook, social media, billboards, signs. You know, it's a collage. You, you, you do all those things to build your brand. Yes, you're going to get some deals out of all, all avenues of business. Okay? But, but out of all the avenues of business, what is the, the one part of it that has to happen for a deal to go through? 
there has to be a conversation. If there's no conversation, there's going to be no deal. If it's an internet lead, uh, a sign call, somebody on Facebook sends you a message, whatever it is, you have to end up talking to the person for the deal to ever even start and get to a closing, right? So why not go ahead and initiate as many of those conversations as you can and ask for business. See what you can do for them. Do they have an agent that they work with? If not, you would love the opportunity to be their agent when the day comes they want to buy or sell. Can I stay in touch with you via email? You know, when are you going to be down? I'd love to have lunch with you. Get to know you a little better. You get to know me. Right? And you build these relationships. But you have to have a huge pipeline. You can't be worried about one or two deals. That's where most agents go wrong. They, they hang on to one or two clients, one or two deals. And they end up just going down the tubes and... You know, I hate it because a lot of them are great people. They just don't get it. So, I hope this helps you guys. Um, I get this question a lot. You know, what do I do on this one deal that's not working out? And it's like, you did great on that deal. You know, the problem is you're not looking at the big picture and you're not going after more deals. You know, a lot of deals in real estate fall through. So, you have to have even more than you think you need just to get a few to go through. So, anyway, I just had to get that out. Um, I appreciate your support. You know, everybody that's watching my videos and stuff, I hope I'm helping you. And um, just just keep the fight, keep the hustle, keep grinding, um, and good things are going to happen.